I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. How to buy and how to use, that's what I'm here to do. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com Welcome back everybody. Today I actually have a cameraman. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the 2022 Braxton Creek Free Solo Din. This is a great unit for a family of two or four just starting out that want to get camping. Maybe you can't pull too much. Um, the length of this unit in total is 18 feet long and it is about 2300 pounds dry. So you can pull it with pretty much anything. Your, um, your minivan that tows 3,500 3, pounds, your smaller SUVs, and obviously all of your trucks. Uh, so let's take a look at the unit. On the front, you have a manual crank jack. You can always get this upgraded to a power tongue if you're feeling like it. You've got your propane tank behind here, and then you have a little rack behind there, and that'll be where your battery will sit. You've got a fiberglass exterior on this unit. Um, I get a lot of customers asking me about the interior build of it because the Braxton Creek Bushwhacker, which is very similar, uh, has a aluminum construction, right? Well, what they're saying when they say that is the skeleton is aluminum construction. So the actual um, material in here is going to be plywood with a fiberglass exterior, and then you have an aluminum cage around the entire thing. So that's where the miscommunication is. Um, but yeah, super clean on the outside, very easy to clean off fiberglass. It's also a lot more durable. So if the kids whack it by accident with their bike helmet, they run into it, a lot less likely to dent than that aluminum, uh, corrugated aluminum you find on some units. You've got the upgraded uh, all-terrain all tires down here. So super nice tires to get you where you gotta go. It's lifted a little bit higher than your other units. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go off-roading with it, but. I guess you could. Back here, we're gonna have a um, storage bay. This is full pass-through. And you can see above, you've got that marine grade plywood there. So no OSB on here. It's all plywood construction, super strong and durable. Around the back, you have the lights for your backup lights and your um, blinker lights. And then you have your stabilizer jacks just to, so the coach doesn't rock so much. When we go inside the coach, it will rock a bit because they're up right now on the locks. On your uh, hookup side, you've got your 30 amp power supply, which we have plugged in right now. City water connection. I know the Romo or the OG has a 10 gallon freshwater tank. I'll have to post in the um, information below how big the freshwater tank is on this one. But you've got an outdoor shower as well with hot and cold water, so super easy and convenient. You take it to the beach, you wanna wash off your feet, wash off your four-legged or two-legged campers, and you got the shower on the outside for that. You have that 5,000 BTU side-mounted AC there, super convenient, gonna keep the coach super cool in the summertime. Back of your water heater, and then your fresh water connection is here. Actually, this is the uh, fresh water tank there, that's the city water connection. Okay. Now let's head on inside and check out the floor plan. So here in the unit, you can see that we have a um, four person dinette, super spacious. I'm comfortably sitting here and my knees are not knocking against this, uh, these poles here. A lot of headroom, more headroom on the people on the exterior than on the inside. So maybe you want the kids on the inside, uh, but this does drop down uh, really easy to do. You just pull the legs out, bring the table down. And this is your first bed for two people to sleep. Um, I did have a family of five ask me if the, if the fifth kid could fit on the floor there, if you want to show that. <laughs> um, a lot of space on the floor. So if you are that kind of rugged camper and you have a bigger family, you may even be able to squeeze five people because there's a lot of length on the floor as well. This is your kitchen area. So you've got your um, stainless steel sink, hot and cold water there. You have a couple of plugs maybe for your coffee pot and things like that. Your tank levels are back here, and then you've got your high point microwave. And you know, it's nothing massive. If it's a rainy day and you're playing cards and you want a bag of popcorn, you fit that in there. Here is the um, controls for your AC. Like I said, 5,000 BTU AC. So for this size camper, it'll keep you super cool. 
A um, little bit noisy there, but me personally, I like the white noise machines at night, so it works for me. Fridge is really large for this size unit. So you've got a pretty deep space in here. Uh, no freezer, but you can bring all your drinks and your food and whatever you want with you for the weekends, maybe a three or four days max, depending how many people are coming. And around the back here, it's got two USBs and two outlets for your phone charging station or whatever other devices you might bring with you. Hopefully you can convince the kids to leave their um, iPads at home, but no promises there, right? And your bed is set up on this one. So the other two floor plans I had showed you, the OG has a bed that's never a table, right? And then the um, next size up, the Romo, is gonna be a table that has to be converted to a bed every night. What's nice about stepping up to the DIN is you're gonna have your dinette already set up. If there's two of you, dinette always set up, and then the bed always set up. So you don't have to worry about making it every single night. Um, there's a storage shelf above the bed here for smaller items. You know, it's not really that deep or that tall, but it'll do maybe for clothing items, shoes, things like that that you want off the floor. That'll work for that. Your uh, wet bath here. I love these. Um, convenient, right? I mean, you do got to sit to shower, but I've got some knee room here. Hot and cold water for a shower. It'll do the job. These doors are tricky. So it is a full door as you can see, but it's got a metal uh, magnet in here, right? So if you accidentally don't pull that and hold that door when you pull it from here, it's gonna kind of snap back really quick on you. So make sure when you're taking a look at these units on the lot that you are aware of that. But it is a pretty durable door. It's not, you know, it's not, it's like a plastic material, but it's better than that shower curtain. And that's really all I've got on the free solo DIN, guys. You've got interior speakers. Oh, I forgot the radio controls here. Interior and exterior speakers, so you can hang out and listen to music inside, outside, HDMI, Bluetooth, USB hookup, and you got AM, FM radio. So that's my free solo. Great little unit. It comes with a two-year limited warranty on the build. Um, so I hope you come into Orlando RV and check it out. Till next time, happy camping.